Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Tars Capades channel in Malaysia. Now, there's been a lot of news and speculation online that the Moto Origins Roton vehicle has been released officially. Um, and, you know, over the last 12 hours or so, I've been on Instagram and a lot of people have been sharing the images of the official artwork done by Axel Jimenez. And Axel Jimenez himself shared it on his account, okay? And hell, I shared it too as well, <laughs> all right? I just got caught up in the excitement. And usually when the official images of the packaging artwork are released, that usually means that the toy or the figure itself is out there in the market. So has anybody seen this thing? And you know what? Uh, something like about two weeks ago, there was like a whole bunch of images uploaded to social. Uh, somebody somewhere actually managed to obtain this thing. I think it was the first person worldwide that actually had an in-hand Roton. And I took a whole bunch of photos of the thing and I checked them out. All right, here's a photo of it uh, from the stash that was actually uploaded online. Uh, my first impression on actually seeing the actual thing for itself um, I don't know why, but I kind of felt like it looked a bit kiddish, okay? It looks like something that, uh, it's like the uh, the Tonka version, all right, of Motu Toys, you know? You know, it's like, you know, back in the day, Transformers, you know, you'd have the the detailed figures that were coming out for, you know, you know older collectors from Hasbro. Then you had the kit line that was put out by Tonka, right? And Tonka had, you know, this more sort of like larger, exaggerated looks to it. I'm not sure, I mean, you know. I'm just saying, okay, but just that this thing kind of looks a little bit, um, you know, like that. It just reminds me of something that looks just a little bit more aged down. Uh, maybe it's because of this concept version look that it's got here, you know. The uh, eyes and the mouth, you know, I mean, the teeth area there. It kind of looks like uh, it kind of looks like you know something that just emerged from a drawing board, okay? Like a like a scary face just popped up on the drawing board in your classroom, and you know. The damn thing was just possessed and the whole drawing board just started, you know, lunging at you, okay, just coming straight for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> it's just something about that look, you know. Oh, it's like maybe the face that appeared on the book of the Necronomicon, you know, in Army of Darkness. But anyway, this thing is apparently out there, okay. This whole thing is just out there right now. And I've not actually seen any videos of it online. I was searching, but I did see one this morning, all right. Actually, I wasn't really sure what it was because the video... Was, uh, was in German, all right? Which, uh, which regrettably, I, I did not learn, you know, when I was growing up. Okay, I wish I did. But uh, yeah, the whole video was in German. I tried to follow it through the images and stuff like that. A couple of things that the video confirmed was that uh, you could see, you know, like a skeletal figure in there comfortably and uh, his hands can actually hold on to the handles comfortably. I remember there was an issue with the land shark. Okay, it's like the land shark, you know, is trying to get the skeletal to hold on to the handles and he was like, you know, just shifting over to one side, you know, and then it's like you know, the other handle would be like, you know, just too far away for him to reach. You know, some bullshit like that, all right? Apparently, this one is pretty smooth. You can get his hands on the handles. Uh, the canopy that's in the concept book fits over his head comfortably as well. The blades spin. Uh, I suppose, you know, how effectively they spin is actually, you know, depending on how fast you move it along. But uh, the most interesting thing, uh, well, aside from the fact that this thing is, first of all, definitely bigger, much bigger than the uh, the vintage one. And uh, you know what? I actually sold off that vintage Roton that was in my collection a couple of years ago. I wish I didn't. Uh, but you know, the damn thing was like broken off, you know, because the blades on the vintage one, I remember they broke off pretty easily. And uh, yeah, it was broken off in a few pieces and somebody wanted it. I think I was missing one of the laser guns too. And uh, you know, somebody wanted it. I just thought, you know what, hey, just take it. But uh, I don't have a vintage one now to do a comparison, you know, when this thing arrives. So yeah, that sucks. But the most interesting thing is probably the fact that uh, underneath the vehicle, there's actually a slot there. There's a slot there where you can actually attach the flight stand, you know, the stand that came with uh, the Wind Raider. Okay, this thing itself doesn't actually come with a stand, but uh, it is compatible with other flight stands, you know. Except it just, it looks a little bit weird on that Wind Raider base because of the... Uh, the gray skull, you know, base rock formations that are at the bottom there. Uh, yeah, so there's an image of that in the video. Uh, but yeah, it does fit comfortably on that flight stand from the Wind Raider. And probably in the future, I don't know, man, you know, maybe they're going to come up with a version that has a stand or maybe the stand will be included with something else. But it's great to know that you could have it on the stand and have it in a hovering mode, all right? That's pretty cool. So, hey, is this thing actually out there? You guys got to let me know if you guys have seen it. You know what I mean? If you guys, uh, you know, if it's in your area or something like that. You know, sometimes, you know, you guys are in the process of getting something and maybe it's turned up at a Target or Walmart or something like that. I'm just curious, you know, where is this thing right now?
I feel personally that this thing is going to turn up in Malaysia probably soon because uh, it was actually at this same point or at this same moment uh, last year, in fact, that uh, we received the Wind Raider. All right? So I think that the timing is just about right for this thing to pop up here. But I think that it's actually going to pop up in a lot of other markets ahead of us. All right? So that happens too. Okay, you know, Malaysia doesn't always get the stuff first. So uh, in that sense, I probably would maybe wait a bit you know, before I actually just rush out there and get this because for damn sure I don't think this is going to turn up in retail uh, as you've seen from my video coverage and stuff like that you know motor distribution at retail is uh, it's in the toilet all right I mean the shelves are filled with vehicles from like you know two years ago so uh, there's no way that this thing is going to turn up okay not when they have like 50 land sharks out there right uh, in like you know one particular store probably so um, yeah so you know we're gonna have to rely on the hobby stores to bring this in and the thing with the hobby stars is that, you know, usually it comes in at, you know, probably one particular price. And then later, like about a month or two months later, you know, somehow there's still stocks, you know, there's always still stocks available, right? And then the price tends to drop pretty hard. Okay, that's what happened with the Wind Raider. And see, the thing with the Wind Raider is like, you know, I, I was really excited to get it at first. And then, you know, I got it and you know, I found out that I was just, you know, it was just really freaking disappointing. Uh, you know, for a number of reasons which I covered in my video, it's just one of the more disappointing vehicles uh, that I've actually picked up in recent memory. And uh, and then the price on that, you know, really dropped. Okay, so I was like just kicking myself, just wondering why, why did I even have to get it at such a rush, okay? And uh, usually it's because, you know, I mean, I tend to want to get the reviews out soon, but I think probably for some, you know, for some of these figures that uh, they've already been reviewed and they've been covered, elsewhere much earlier uh, I don't really feel like there's going to be a surge in demand for me to do a review on this uh, so but hey I'll get around to doing it eventually you know and at which point I'll probably get maybe 10% of you guys tuning in <laughs> as what usually happens when the reviews come out much later but um, you know I will get around to doing it you know the point here is just that I I just realized that I'm not really that excited to get this thing you know just yet I'm more excited to get something like you know maybe the next wave of origins figures okay because when it comes to a large vehicle like this uh, the other thing is just that you know I don't know where to actually place it right now okay <laughs> especially if I get it opened up all right and like you know the current vehicles that are out there uh, like Stridor, the Land Shark, Wind Raider, man, these guys take up a lot of space, okay, especially since I already opened them up and they have to be on display and they do take up a lot of space. So look, anyway, um, let me know what you guys uh, think about this Roton vehicle. Are you guys excited to get it? Uh, is it turning up in your area? Have you guys heard anything? And thanks as always for tuning in. I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Take care out there.